Julia, here we are in Liverpool, the Eurovision Arena, getting ready for the Eurovision Song Contest 2023 on behalf of Ukraine. And of course, you're here to host on behalf of your country. How do you feel? Oh my God, there's so, so many different emotions. It's of course bittersweet because we've been dreaming to host Eurovision in Kiev, but because of the war, it's impossible to do now. But at the same time, we're so grateful that the UK is hosting it on behalf of Ukraine. And we really feel this support here and lots of Ukrainians walking here on the backstage and we will see lots of Ukrainian performance. So I feel proud. I feel lots of joy and happiness because I, the atmosphere here is incredible, but at the same time, huge responsibility. What kind of pressure do you feel in terms of you hosting and representing your whole country? And what will we see in terms of Ukrainian culture throughout the show? I feel that, uh, I feel that Ukrainians are watching at, at, at me, for me. <laughs> they ask, I feel them like, like the wall behind me. I feel that support of, of, of the whole nation. I know that it is important for Ukraine and for Ukrainians, the Eurovision, because every time when we hear our songs, our language, our culture on the international arena like this, it's important for us to be seen, to be heard, to say one more time about the war, to remind people what's going on in the world, to share a story. So yeah, it's important. And we will definitely hear Ukrainian songs, Ukrainian performers, Ukrainian stars of Eurovision. Uh, and we see it in Liverpool. I see these beautiful birds with Ukrainian ornaments all over the city. I see Ukrainian flags. I see Ukrainian colors. People are interested and really open-hearted. How has the city of Liverpool embraced you and showing solidarity with Ukraine? We see lots of Ukraine in Liverpool now. Lots of Ukrainians, lots of Ukrainian refugees here. Uh, there will be Ukrainian audience in, uh, during the whole Eurovision here. And we will, of course, communicate with them. Uh, we, we see the whole Liverpool in Ukrainian colors. And that means that people really care. People ask me how I am, what's going on. So people really ask questions and I'm open to answer it. And that's important. also have a new single out called Festival. Tell me about that. That's a very important song for me uh, because it, it explains what, what I feel right now and what Ukrainians feel, that we all believe and want to believe in some miracle when in one moment the bombshells will turn into fireworks and bullets turn into rain and our pain will turn into songs because we all want to fill this world not in the war prison, but like, like a festival, like, every, like you do. So we want to share these emotions, but unfortunately we can't, we can't do that. And we, we can only believe on our unification, our strengths and our power. Julia, of course, Russia was banned from last year's Eurovision and they have been banned from this year's as well. Do you feel it's fair for the musicians themselves because they won't be able to perform? I think that this, this festival and celebration of music, uh, it's not only about music because uh, performers here, they perform for their country. So their country are standing next, next to, to their personalities. And unfortunately, lots of Russian performers, they support this regime and this war. Unfortunately, we have this reality. So I think that our society, civilized world, need to ban that just to show that we are against the, the war, just to show Russians that they need to do something, that they need to protest to be back to the, to the normal life and normal world. 
and of course at home in Ukraine, the Eurovision has been very important for many, many years. Why is that? I think uh, we were always fighting to be heard and seen as a nation. Because unfortunately, lots of people were thinking about Ukraine like at the part of Russia. Uh, but we always wanted to show that we have our own culture, our language, beautiful songs and great performers. That's why we always watch Eurovision. We always, uh, Ukrainians pati uh, participate in this selection to choose the best uh, artists, the best song, because it's so important to, to, to share our culture and to win. And when King Charles and the Queen Consort Camilla came here <laughs> yes. to Liverpool to the arena to open it up, you met with His Majesty. How was that? It was super easy. I thought that it would be much harder, like more tension about it. Uh, because I, I, I've asked what to say, what should I ask, how, could, how should I add? And they just said, be, be yourself. And, and that helped me a lot because we, we, uh, I spoke to, to, to His Majesty and we were talking about Eurovision, Ukraine, Ukrainian libraries, Ukrainian culture even. So we had this beautiful small talk that I will remember always. And Juliet, Eurovision, of course, is famous for unifying through music. Do you feel it? Yes. This year, last year and this year, we definitely feel even more of this unification. So our slogan this year is United by Music. And it's all about it. The whole performance, the whole shows will, will be with this uh, idea of unification. And I think it's, it, it, it became more even just about music. It became about supporting each other, make us better, bigger and stronger together. You started performing when you were just three years old. Yes. <laughs> Could you ever imagine yourself now here hosting one of the biggest music events in the world? No, it was my dream. I've been dreaming about this stage for a long time, but uh, I haven't. It's impossible to imagine such such a jump <laughs> to host hosting something new for me. So I'm opening uh, the new sides of myself. How proud do you think your parents will be? Where will they be watching? And will it be hard for everyone in Ukraine to tune in? Uh, my parents will be watching. They, they they are in Kiev and they will be watching uh, from from Kiev. Actually, we have. Missiles attack almost every night this week, unfortunately. I hope that on the evening of Eurovision that will be calm evening. I'm praying for that. And I hope that every Ukrainian will have a chance to watch Eurovision, no matter what. And what do you want the message to be from here, from Liverpool, from Eurovision to your country on the night? Oh, that's hard to combine it in, in words that you are not alone that the whole world is standing with you and we celebrate Ukrainian culture today. Julia, thank you thank so you. much and good luck. Thank you.